Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. We wanted to say a quick thank you for all the love that you've given us because your ongoing support helps us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. So thanks again. Now let's continue. Do you feel confident in yourself? Do you know what you're good at and what you're bad at? Even psychology experts know the benefits that come with being confident in yourself and your skills. The identity that your mind creates about yourself can be described in psychology as your ego, which is the translation for I or me in Latin. Though having confidence in yourself and your skill set is great, but being overconfident causes a swollen ego or having what's called a big head. A large ego can get in the way of your personal and business relationships. Are you worried you might have a large ego? Here are six signs that your ego is controlling your life. Number one, you always have to be right. The ego is the identity that your mind creates about yourself, and it helps you to make decisions based on what you think is right or wrong. However, unhealthy egos only focus on self-interest and desire. This means you must be right about everything and tend to get enraged whenever someone says otherwise. This can be easily seen in conversations or discussions, and even when you're in the wrong, you prefer to cut the discussion off so as to not admit that you are in the wrong. If you're dealing with this kind of problem of ego in your life, then people might find it difficult to maintain a relationship with you. Number two, you always want more. Do you struggle to feel satisfied with what you have? Do you keep wanting more and more things? It's normal to want to achieve success and have financial security and to yearn for the things that you really want. But a way to separate this from always wanting more is to ask yourself this question. Do you ever think that too much is never enough? Say your neighbor just got a sports car and then now you feel compelled to purchase a better sports car than theirs to show that you're better than them. Always wanting more will control your life in an unsustainable way because you struggle to accept what's going on in the here and now. Number three, you only focus on yourself. If you have a large ego, you'll focus more on your needs and wants, even when it inconveniences others. This is because you naturally find yourself more interesting and important than other people. You might also resort to manipulative behavior in order to get what you want. A common example of this is when you're deciding on where to have lunch with your friends. Your friends agree to eat at McDonald's, but you would rather have lunch at Burger King. To get your friends on your side, you start saying terrible things about McDonald's to try and manipulate them into going to Burger King, even though everyone else was against your choice for lunch. Eventually, you might find that your friends and family start to steer clear of you because things always end in an argument that they'd rather avoid. Number four, you don't like it when other people succeed. Are you constantly comparing yourself to others? Do you feel incredibly self-important? When you have a bloated ego, you feel like you deserve more success than the others around you because you think your hard work trumps everybody else's. You might be left feeling frustrated when others get promoted at work or get awards at school. You feel that you deserved that promotion or should have received those awards instead because you are prone to jealousy over other people's success. This can harm your friendships and leave you feeling isolated. Number five, you set unrealistic goals. Do you set unrealistic goals for yourself just to show others that you are superior to them? Setting unrealistic goals for yourself is common behavior with an inflated ego due to the pride and extremely high expectations that you have for yourself. This puts additional pressure and stress on your shoulders and might cause you to push others away. For example, imagine you set a goal of getting full marks on every single course in university to prove that you are smarter than everyone else in your classes. Say you are studying alone and then your doormates are being loud next door, talking and playing music. You angrily march over there and yell at them for being disruptive before going back to your studies. Holding on to the belief that you're better than others will take a huge mental and physical toll on you. You are constantly afraid of someone being better than you and live in fear of the day that others will see you fail to achieve your unrealistic goals. Number six, you lack empathy. According to Power of Positivity, if you suffer from an overly large ego, you can also be described as a narcissist. You might lack the ability to understand others' feelings and where they're coming from, 
and are solely focused on your own self-interest. Examples of this type of narcissistic behavior are evident when you say things like, they deserve it because they didn't do anything to stop it, whenever something bad happens to someone else. Of course, not every person with a big head is a narcissist. If you wanna learn more about narcissists, check out the link in the description. Did you recognize any of these signs of having a large ego in yourself? Having a large ego is different than simply being confident in your abilities. It's important to note the difference between being egotistical and being confident, as well as the difference between always focusing on self-interest and self-care. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.